Let's understand back propagation using multivariate calculus. Back propagation is one of the difficult concepts in machine learning in general and deep learning in particular. So let's understand it. Let's say z is a function of x, y. So the elementary change in z dz is equal to partial derivative of f with respect to x times dx elementary change in x plus partial derivative of f with respect to y times elementary change in y. This equation we have already proved in one of the videos something directional derivative. So now if we make a tree corresponding to this we have the tree like x and y and z here and z depends on x so i am drawing arrow like this so we can say that x and y both are the both are the parents of z x and y are the parents of z because z depends on x and y so we have this equation what does this equation speak in terms of this thing so elementary change in z due to the elementary change in x is this part del f over del x times dx and elementary change in z due to the elementary change in y is this part and since both x and y are changed so we are adding these two parts elementary change in z due to elementary change in x plus elementary change in z due to elementary change in y so this is the meaning of this equation now let's consider another scenario where z is a function of x y and x is another function of variable t and y is also another function f to t function of t this is our case number two and this is the simple case case one so in this case how we can write the equation first of all if we draw these uh, nodes so we have z x y and t so we can see that both x and y depend on t this way so here we can assume that let's say x and y are the are both the sons of t and again z is uh, also dependent on x and y so x and y so this is the tree we can think of so whenever we are making some change in t so change in x is also encountered change in y is encountered change in z is encountered so due to the change in t all these three variables x y and z are changed so here we can say that this equation can be written like this dz over dt is equal to del f over del x times dx over dt plus del f over del y times dy over dt what i have done is basically divided by elementary change in t dt so our this equation follows this one fine now how we can think this equation in terms of back propagation very simple very simple concept is back propagation in terms of this although it is difficult in general in deep learning Le now let's understand this so what is this term del f over del x times dx over dz if we like we have these two parts the this path and this path so if we if you consider the first part path one and this is path two so for this part if we back propagate 
so back propagate means we are moving in backward direction so in this case when we are back propagating from z to x then we can say that this is nothing but del z over del x del z over del x or del f over del x both are same thing because z is a function of x y and now when we are back propagating here from x to t we are having this partial derivative del x over del t and by the way del x over del t is also equal to dx over dt since a single variable t is there so if we take this product we will be getting this one del f over del x which is del z over del x also basically del z over del x is also equal to del f over del x so when we take this two we product of this two we are getting this one so this is nothing but the chain rule in calculus we have already studied in differential calculus so when we back propagate from g to x we encountered a partial derivative of del z over del x and from x to t when we back propagate we encountered a partial derivative of x with respect to t then what we did we multiplied this and this is the chain rule and from the second path also in the similar fashion when we back propagate from z to y we'll be getting del f over del z over del y or del f over del y so this is del z over del y and back propagating from y to t will be getting del y over del t and now you check the product and again dy by dt is equal to d del y over del t when you take this product again you are getting this and then we have to sum them up why we are summing them up because because you know we have these two parts and the change in t is propagated through these two parts so whenever we are making some change in t so change in g is encountered and it is propagated from the first path and the second path that's why we are summing them up and this is the essence this is the crux of the back propagation using this multivariate calculus this is our case number two and let's uh, consider one more difficult case that is case three and this case will surely make understand uh, every nuances in back propagation let's consider that z is a function of x y and x is a function not only of the variable t but let's say this is a variable s and t two variables so x is a function of s and t and y is a function of s and t and let's consider this uh, f1 f2 because all this f f1 f2 are different functions so what tree we can think of we have here x y and z and uh, here we have s and t and now x depends on both s and t so i am drawing like this and also y depends on both s and t so i am drawing like this and then z depends on x and y so i am drawing like this so we have this tree z is dependent on x and y and x and y both are dependent on s and t now we have to write uh, this derivative or 
the partial derivative of z with respect to s and partial derivative of z with respect to t. So how we can write and what does it mean using the back propagation. So here if we back propagate if we back propagate from z to x to s first let's consider we are just making change in s. So due to the change in s we have two paths this path s to x to z and and the path s to y to z now when we back propagate from z to x we'll be writing del z over del x and when we back propagate from x to s we will be writing del x over del s and the chain rule says that when you have to find the partial derivative of z with respect to s then you take its product so the product will be del z over del x times del x over del s so this is the chain rule and since we have another path also this path this red green s to y to z so when we are back propagating from z to y we will be getting del z over del y and back propagating from y to s we'll be getting del y over del s so the change is propagated from these two paths so we are adding them up so it becomes del z over del y times del y over del s so this is the partial derivative of z with respect to s when s is changed what is the change in z this is indicating this equation is indicating and similarly similarly the partial derivative of z with respect to t when t is changed keeping s constant in the similar fashion we can write del z over del t so for this we have again two paths this path and this path so back propagating from z to x we will have del z over del x times back propagating from x to t we will have del x over del t plus again the second path second path will be this path this one plus del z over del y back propagating from z to y plus back propagating from y to t will be del y over del t so this is the essence of back propagation and in all the complicated um, deep learning concepts we'll be using using this essence of back propagation only hope you understand it thank you